Welcome back students. In this video lesson, we will learn encapsulation and access specifiers. We know two main things which are in the class are data members which contains information and functions or methods that performs operations. Sometimes we may need to access or manipulate the data inside the class. There may be unauthorized access and misuse also then. To keep it safe from unauthorized access, Java uses mechanism of binding both data members and functions called encapsulation. Encapsulation ensures that a user cannot access the data of an application without using its functions. So, encapsulation is defined as the wrapping up of data under a single unit. It is the mechanism that binds together code and the data it manipulates. As per the requirement, variables and functions of a class can be made to be hidden from other classes. Therefore, this is also known as data hiding. To remember encapsulation, we can think of capsule where data variables and methods are wrapped as a class. Let us know how to achieve encapsulation. To restrict the unauthorized access, Java has three keywords called access specifiers. First one is public, next is protected and private. While declaring data members, any one of these keywords is specified with data members or method prototype. Let us learn the access level of these access specifiers. If public is given as access specifier, then it is accessible by any class. It may be inside the package or even outside the package, subclass or class of other package. If protected is indicated, it may have access inside the package and also outside the package that inherit the class. If private is given, then it can be accessed only within the class. Even in the same package, other class also won't be able to access this and not even by inheritors. When we don't give any access specifier, then it becomes public within a package. That means it cannot be accessed outside the package and this is defined as default. If we need an example for encapsulation, we can consider this. An employee may have access to know his salary. But he cannot change the salary, no. Management only can have an authorization to change the salary of that employee. So, where the method display is there, it may have public access specifier so that any one of the employee can see the salary part. But access to data members and function cannot be given as public. It can be as private so that management only will have the authorization to change the salary of that employee. I will demonstrate encapsulation using program which we have already done earlier. I will give just few examples. We learned packages in our 23rd video. So the basic operation was a package which I created. Then here is a class which I called a class from this package that is outside of this package this class is available let us check this see here there are two classes inside this package one is called sum so here i have calculated sum of two variables and printed here you can see i have given public as the access specifier then if we see this diff so here also I have given public as the access specifier. Let us come out of this. So here I have a class called import bo pack where I have called the sum dot main and diff dot main which is inside that basic operation package. As sum and diff both are having public as access specifier we can call that outside the package. So we can run this and check. 
So sum is also given, difference is also given here. So here 45 plus 55 was the argument. Here 83 and 78, it gave the difference. Let us once again go to the package. Now here in the class called diff, I will call the sum. So that is sum dot main was the method and then I am giving the parameter value. For example, I give 6 and 7. I will compile this. See there is no syntax error because the sum was having public one and then this is inside the package. Let us run this. So for difference, I am giving 100 and 150. So it will show difference as 50 and the sum it will go and run from there. So it will give the result. So it has given the result. Sum is 13. So we can see if public is given as access specifier, it can be accessed from anywhere. Now I will change this access specifier, this public into protected. So let me compile this. So you could see here error found in class. So let us see what is the error. So modifier protected not allowed here. So now let us do without this. So that will becomes default here. I have not specified any public or private or protected. So compile this no syntax error. So I have already in difference I have called it. So it is here you can see there. Will it work or not? It will work because it is in the same package. So I give 200, 100. So the difference is 100, sum is 30. Now let us go outside the package. And then I will run this now. You can see here it shows a error because when we don't specify anything that becomes default, it will be available only in the package, not outside the package. So let us close this. Now I will have a subclass here. I will create class product extends sum. So extends is a keyword which is used to inherit the property of the main class. So I will write now public static void pryu and then i give int x comma int y now i will have s is equal to x into y so i wanted to use the variable s which is in the sum class so i will give as a class variable here static int s as the functions are static i have given as static variable here so let us compile this so no syntax error so the variable which is given in the main class could be accessed in derived class now let us change this into private let us see which is outside the class. So you can see that it is showing an error message. So you can see main int comma int has private access in basic operation dot sum. So we won't be able to access sum here. Even in a same packet from another class, we won't be able to access it. Students, I hope now it is very clear 
how this public protected and private access specifier works here public doesn't have any restriction the private is fully restricted it is available only within the class when we don't give anything as a access specifier and then only inside the package it acts like a public students keep watching my channel learn and share thank you students